Joining us for today's cart combo, Fox Sports utility man Shane Bacon. This guy does it all. Little bit of football and basketball, but odds are you've seen his face or heard his voice covering all things golf. In fact, Shane was a play-by-play -play announcer at the last two U.S. Open championships. And did you happen to catch the match between Tiger and Phil? He was the guy sticking a microphone in their face. The interviewer becomes the interviewee on today's Breaking Par Cart Combo. Shane, thanks so much for joining yeah, for us, sure, man. Bro. You and I have known each other for a couple years now. Some similarities between the two of us. We're both lefties. Yep. We both talk about golf for a living. But there's one major difference. You're actually good <laughs> at golf. I noticed on my Twitter feed a few months ago, you actually qualified for a US Open sectional. Yep. How cool is that? And yeah, it, was it was here. It was out here, yeah. Golf. It was my home club. I had been playing a whole bunch of golf. I get through, I call my boss. And I'm like, hey, man. I got through local qualifying. He's like, awesome, you know, my boss is a big golfer. And I'm like, when am I gonna be able to do this? You know, we yeah. have we have golf events we're broadcasting around that time. So I wasn't necessarily setting myself up to play a US right. Open, but you know, with kind of my duties at the US Open, I think my boss was probably happy I didn't play great. Yeah, they were year. probably rooting against you. <laughs> they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want you playing. You've gotta be working like eight hours a day. Let's talk about the match. Tiger you, Phil. Yeah, you walking stride for stride with two of the <laughs> biggest superstars in all of golf, broadcast all over the world. What was that experience like? It was just crazy being in the locker room. It's like Samuel L. Jackson sitting there, and Charles Barkley's here, and Tiger's eating a steak for breakfast, and Phil's watching the football game, and you're like, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. This is unbelievable. So Tiger's having a steak at like 7 in the morning? It was probably like 8.30, yeah, it was early. I mean, he, he had a steak for breakfast. Like filet or porterhouse? It, 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 looked, it looked like a, like a ribeye. I will say they were very, very cool. You know, Phil was exactly what you'd expect, if not more. Very complimentary, really excited, um, was fun, was prepared, was really into it. Tiger was exactly what you'd expect from him. He was very serious about the golf. He was competitive, he wanted to win. There was a moment in, in the, in the pre-production round it was for us to get comfortable with them. Like, you know, Shane's gonna come up and interview you here. The drone's gonna get this close. This is what the drone sounds like. Is this too close? You know, what are you comfortable with? And Phil's needle and tiger. And they walk off the tee and Phil goes, hey, tiger, uh, let me know if I'm annoying you. And tiger, like, like without a break in a clip, he goes, you're always annoying me, man. <laughs> and it was just like, they both had a good chuckle. Well, I have one beef with the match. We were expecting a ton of bets. You know, like $100,000, Tiger, let's go. You know, you realize at one point that it's nine million bucks. Right around 11, I noticed both of their mentalities kind of changed a little bit. Really? And it was a little more like, all right, I want to win. First of all, they want to win because they're playing each other. Second of all, I mean, it's a whole bunch of dough. Yeah. You know, nobody's saying no to nine million bucks, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, Bezos isn't saying no to nine million if you go up there and offer it right. to him. So, yeah, at one point I could just tell the mentality changed because I think there was just so much money on the line for both of them. Now, you've been with Fox Sports since 2015, but easily the highlight of your career has to be the call to cover dog shows. Oh, Westminster Dog Show? You asked me if my wife gets excited about the golfing stuff. She was so pumped for the Westminster Dog Show. She was there one day at 7 a.m because the French Bulldogs were being shown at 7 a.m. and it's not our broadcast window. She's there at 7 a.m. out there watching every one of them taking pictures. I mean, I have a French Bulldog head cover, for goodness sakes, of my own dog. I mean, we, we like our dog a lot. That's when you became a celebrity to your wife. That was the moment, yep. Thanks for joining us on our cart convo, man. No problem, buddy.